Not there. Not there. Oh, oh, hello. Do you know what? I've lost something so important. I've lost my keys, my door keys. I can't find them anywhere. Oh, have you seen them? They're not under here. What have I done with them? Oh, oh, oh look. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, thank goodness for that. These are so important. Oh, what would I do without my door keys? Today's story from the Bible is all about, well, not something, but somebody who was lost. Should we go and have a look together? I'm going to read our story today, straight from the beginner's Bible. Some pictures will come up so you can follow along. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Every year, Jesus and his family would go to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. When Jesus was 12, they went to the feast as usual. The streets were crowded with people. It looks very busy there, doesn't it? On the way back home to Nazareth, Mary and Joseph couldn't find Jesus. They asked their relatives and friends, have you seen Jesus? But no one knew where he was. Oh dear. Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem and they looked and they looked for Jesus. Finally, after three days, they found him. Jesus was talking with teachers in the temple. The teachers were amazed. Jesus was very wise for such a young boy. Mary and Joseph rushed to Jesus we were so worried about you, said Mary. Jesus knew that God was his father. He said, I had to come to my father's house. But Jesus loved and obeyed his parents too. So he returned home with them and grew stronger and wiser. In this story, we've heard that the teachers were amazed at how much Jesus knew and understood God's word. And Jesus has shown us the importance of spending time learning from the Bible. And we're going to be learning so much more about Jesus at all sorts, so do keep tuning in. Maybe you'd like to start reading more about Jesus for yourself at home as well. The Beginner's Bible is a wonderful place to start. It's beautifully illustrated and so there's lots to discover and talk about. Don't forget to click on the link for the activity sheet for today's story too. Before you go, should we put our hands together and pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this true story about Jesus. Thank you for showing us how we can be obedient to our parents and how we can grow in strength listening and reading your word knowing more about you. Thank you for our time together. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.